Okay, everybody. I'm just going to draw. I'm just going to um, walk around now. Here's the front of the, or the back side of the Parthenon, as I said. So I'm going to um, I'm going to kind of walk around and let you see what it looks like here. See all the people. Um, this is the top of the Acropolis, and you can see at the city of Athens in the background. Large Greek flag flying. Athens, by the way, is gigantic. Um, it feels bigger than uh, than Rome, even. The, the sprawl seems greater. I, it took me an hour on a bus to get from the airport. And this is what it looks like from one side of the Acropolis. I'll just let you see this kind of a, a panorama. I think it uh, rivals Los Angeles in urban sprawl. But um, from up here, top of the Acropolis, you can see almost everything. It's amazing. You can see everyone's here having their pictures taken. Who wouldn't? It's just a great shot. You have to walk slowly because there's so many people taking pictures you don't want to walk into their shots. So this is the back side of the Parthenon. You can see the, the plaster or something. They're repairing the columns here. Europeans have been coming here for tourism since the days of Goethe and Lord Byron. So the tourism here is nothing new, the only what's new is the sheer scale. As I mentioned, the Parthenon was finished in around 435 BC and it uh, it was the Temple of Athena, and you can see reconstructions and uh, the statues and so on down below in the Parthenon Museum. I think uh, Janie might particularly appreciate this, given her love of Greek mythology.
pieces of this, of course, are in the British Museum. When the British came through here, they took parts of the Parthenon, and at least from what I've read, the parts they took are completely preserved. When they took them, they took them in a pristine state, and now after 100 or 200 years of pollution, the, uh, these statues here have been all eroded and corroded from the from the uh, pollution, but the ones in the British Museum, or the, the parts of the frieze taken from the British Museum, are pristine. So, whether the British uh, shouldn't or shouldn't have taken them, at least they've preserved them for archaeology. so you can see these columns. They're massive. I mentioned in an earlier video, I don't know if I said this, um, the big difference between when I was here 30 years ago and today is that uh, you can't get inside when the... Um, when I was here, you could walk right up to the columns and look inside at least. They had signs that usually said, don't go inside because there are big holes you could fall into. But um, today, they don't want you going even near that, even that much. There's obviously construction going on. Cranes, even. size of the tourism uh, here. You can see quite a few people. And this is a Thursday, but it is the summer, so I'm sure it's much less in the colder months. Okay, so there you have it. Um, this is my little walking tour of the, of the Parthenon and the Acropolis, and I hope everybody's enjoyed it, and I will talk to you later. Bye.